uh, firstly, I would like to say thank you so much for BWI's Congress and that's given me the opportunity for sharing about the brickling in Cambodia and it's the history in Cambodia for brickling that's 25 years, doesn't have the union and they work and live in the brick without the right and nothing to, to, to receive that's uh, right now uh, BWTUC in have the starting to organizing the brickling worker in 2019 and so uh, right now we have the union in the bricks that's by the survey of the brickling in Cambodia we have 500 brickling factories in the whole of Cambodia but in Kanda province so many brick factory and uh, all the brick worker they live and work in the bricks and without without the rice without the and they live with the, the that bondage and child labor also inside and just also doesn't have the uh, uh, occupants not have and safety during the the works and so the the challenge or the problem with the brickling is that they uh, have the the debt bondage in with the owner and they don't know when they can pay uh, debt for living from the brick and that's why he need to work with the family with the children and especially the children they doesn't have the opportunity to go to school because uh, that their parent is poor and they have uh, less about the uh, uh, salary or benefits in the bricks and you know in the brickling owner is the uh, local so that's why you have the power and they don't respect the law they don't care about the law and that's why he uh, used the the worker likes the the robots you know and they works without the holiday without the 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 charm for breaks and then because uh, one more thing they uh, my, uh, some of them, they from the, the far from the city is the uh, they migration and yeah, especially in Kanda province. So right now, BWTUC has the uh, union election or registration for uh, create have the union for four factories right now. And we have plan to continue for uh, election more and more in the BRICS. So and also we increase for the 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 Zai organizing from in Kandal to Kampung Cham and Bong Mum and other in Simrip also. So right now we uh, have the organize in the Simrip and we have the four brick cling and in the uh, process and preparing a document for the votes of our election soon. And yes, this is a. Uh, I would like to sharing that's the situation or the problem or challenges for the brickling worker in Cambodia. You know, they live like the slave worker and more than slave worker and they doesn't have during in uh, uh, in during in the COVID pandemic, uh, they live and work in the brickling without uh, money and without the food for it. And BWTUC try to, to helping them for to do the fundraising or buying foods, rice, new dog to give them to eat because that children doesn't have to eat to have the right to eat and yeah so after I go to organizing them day by day and then so all the, so many women to join in the union is is women is more than men and you know it's for prickling that we have a, just election is the leader is the woman and also in in BWI Congress here, she also have the opportunity to join and sharing in the women con, uh, women uh, uh, in, in trades also. And yes, for uh, I would like to uh, conclusion what I sharing in the, this is about the strategy plan that BWTUC need to 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 strengthen strangle and unite with the brickling workers for make sure is stopping a uh, child labor in the brick and stopping the the uh, modern slavers for the brick and also uh, stopping the debt bondage for the, the, the owner and the, the worker. Yes, thank you so much for what I said.